Okay, I thought I'd just demonstrate the way that I use 3D coat to um, uh, to, to read apologize stuff. So I think it was a reference mesh. I think we could do it that way. Okay, so here we go. There's the and then into over to read apology. And then what I do is I just I ju obviously just do one and a half. <laughs> That would seem to be a sensible thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, and then do really, really massive, as big as quads as you can comfortably get away with. I mean, it, don't worry about it, not because um, I'll show you the, the trick um, in a sec. Um, once we've got some something there. Okay, can we? Oh, um, so we've got some stuff there. And so you can use this um, split rings, which like edge loops, I guess, um, at that conform, uh, which they don't in Modo, unfortunately, which is what I hoped for, but I seem to be struggling to get the same functionality. If someone knows how to do that in Modo, that would be great. I'm sure, you know, maybe other three programs, it's not a problem. But um, yeah, so that's it, basically. You just... Um, Rather than, I mean, you you don't you want to try and do as much as possible, I guess. Um, to otherwise we're back to the sort of drawing individual um, quads. So you want to make them as big as you can, and then use the oh, use the um, split um, split. Uh, what's it called? It split ring command to add the detail and then that saves you all the time that you would have spent doing individual there is a way of hiding the um, reference mesh to make it a bit easier to see what you're doing um, I forget exactly how but it was mainly to show this principle of doing a, a super low res uh, so m m much lower res than you would actually want and then use the um, the edge loop feature to uh, or what's it called split ring feature to um, to add the geometry I, I, again I shouldn't have I shouldn't have gone quite as mental with the uh, you know I should have tried to do as much as you can I think is that is the secret with the, uh, with with this few quads and then once you've got something there go in there with the split uh, split rings and there's other things there which allows you to slide slide stuff as well um, oops. Let me. um okay so and then we've got um so let's say we want to join let's put some so here we go split ring And maybe put another one in there, um, and one on the deltoid, pectoral, collarbone, and then we'll go back into the other thing and join them up. You probably want to pose your ZBrush model a bit better so that the arms are you got more under the armpit there it's obviously I made it a bit <laughs> it's you wouldn't want to if you want an animatable mesh you wouldn't want that all collapsed in like that that would be a bit of a, a nightmare um, what I'm gonna do get rid of that one and then split that and then add And then you can move stuff around and you know it all conforms and everything which is what you want I might put another one up here now again I don't know if this is you know the proper way in inverted commas it's a, a, a way <laughs> that I I used um, to do this sort of work um, and because the thing is you want to find the process that the fastest the fastest for you and th th that is the fastest um, there's always the possibility that there's a better way that you're just not aware of. 
Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I, sort of, I come from the modeling in Lightwave and stuff, and it didn't really have this functionality. And, and it's and so that's kind of you start when 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 you run that run into that in the program that you use it, it doesn't have a particular feature that you need then you you know you have to start thinking well is there another program out there that will do what i want um so let's go down this arm oops do and do the to show you the power of this method I mean, I'm you know I'm sort of rushing through it, and I haven't done I haven't done this technique for for a while. I haven't you know I'm, I don't normally do characters, so but it, I think it's um as I say it's worth showing just because it's I see people on Twitch not doing it this way, and I'm thinking you're taking forever. <laughs> uh, you know you can't really tell them that, but it's um you think in the back of your mind it's like there's the faster way. Whoops, he says there's a faster way. Um, so this is yeah I'm just sort of just demonstrating another another method not the method um just another approach um admittedly not terribly well so can I oops I think I messed a bit up there it's uh Let me. Okay, can we go? We'll get to one more split up here. Try and get that point there. And is it going to let me do this? No. Is it going to it let me do that? Right. Okay. So this is this is what I'm going to show you. This is this is you know. So we got all this art and this like obviously it's nowhere near. But with the split rings, we just go right elbow, forearm, um, bicep. Um, need some more detail in here. Need some more detail in there. Just start going for all the the places where it's obviously there's not enough geometry. Need some in in here. And there you go. You see, that's I think quite quite a lot quicker than going and doing each individual. I mean, it's not going to work for everything. When it gets really complex, I mean, it's it's worth, I guess, you know, working ar around the sort of flow. You know, see, here we go with the neck, for example, and do a separate thing and and go maybe around the base of the skull as a, as the next thing. Um, but to get a bit more detail in there. Um, then say like okay so we got that okay that's fine so now we'll just use the split uh, why is that not <laughs> okay it's been a bit weird now typically um, I don't quite understand why it's not let me Let's try that again add my speak Super massive, just to drive the point home. It's you know it's getting the computers this constraint thing, um, background constraint or you know the your topology mode, whatever it's called, in your application to to work for you. So if you can't do this the split ring thing, you know you have to kind of think is it worth since you know, how, how much time this is saving, um, you know, is it worth considering switching um, to a dedicated topology program? And you know, there's a lot of stuff that 3D Code can do that I, I just don't use at all. I just use it just for this. Um, and you know, it's pretty cheap, permanent license, none of this rental rubbish. <laughs> and it, you know, I mean, it, it's yeah. So um, I guess we can go across here on the deltoid. Just like your regular kind of method, I guess. <laughs> Up the sort of trapezoid. Oops. Probably do with another loop in there, right? And you can drag stuff around as well. So, you know, it's like you don't have to, you know, you can slide the geometry 
to the places where you need it. Um, where is it? Edge slide. So you could, you know, I think you can do the whole lot. Can you not do the whole lot? I think there was a way of sliding. But yeah, it's worth worth exploring just because of the speed. I don't, I don't think I've come across. I mean, I haven't used Topper Gun. Maybe it's amazing. Um, so, um, but yeah, I haven't come across any other program that's really got does this. I mean, you can kind of do it in Maya, I suppose. There's a the sort of make the mesh live and uh, yeah, but you know, Maya's horrendously expensive, so I, I don't. <laughs> it's not really an option for me. Uh, you know, if the studio's paying for it, then yeah. But you know, if you, if you if you're paying, for, I, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't pay for pay for Mara. If it's just, you know, just can't afford it really. It's just, um right split rings. Let me make that. Uh, can we do that. We run another one down here, and and then maybe one split, another one here, um, and then we we'll just join those ones together. Maybe can we? Oops. There's, yeah, you're gonna have to experiment a bit, but um, but yeah, whenever I've had to do creatures or characters or people or anything, retopology, you know, I, I just use this. Um, is it? Is that? Is that? And I guess the only reason why I don't use Modo for do, doing this is I just haven't found that the thing is that the topology tool is robust in all the modes you know you you think oh well, that's great it all works and then you think well I wonder if edge loop works and then edge, edge loop doesn't work and, and maybe it's you know I, maybe I'm missing something and you know not understood its way of doing it or something um but um yeah it's, it's there's a lot to be said for programs you know using a program that's you know really good at one particular thing I mean, in an ideal world, you'd, you'd you'd want it all in the same program, but in the re reality, that's that's rare that a program is good at everything. You know, that's why we've got ZBrush, I guess, right? Um, you know, and it's you know you can sculpt in Maya and and Blender and all that, but um, you know, ZBrush is the kind of people prefer it because it's the best at doing it, right? I guess. Um, okay, right. I'm going to stop there. Um, but yeah, just quick demo, um, 3D coat, retopology, I think it's pretty good. It creates UVs at the same time, it seems to remember, if, uh, if I can, I can't remember, <laughs> well, I won't stray from the thing, but, um, yeah, you see, that's, that didn't take me long at all. I mean, it's not brilliant, but you go in there and, and just, you know, slide stuff around to make it follow the contours a bit more and whatever. To, to make it how you want it, right? Um, but the sort of underlying... Um, I mean, there's... I saw that was... I forget what it's called now, but there was something for doing... dealing with scan... face scan data, and um, and that's also looks very interesting. I mean, that's a lot more new. It's like a... I can't remember if this is like a ZBrush plugin or, or something, but it allowed you to get a scan data and just conform uh, conform a mesh to it. I and mean, you can do that in, in Modo, I seem to remember. Um, but yeah, if you're just building, if you haven't got a mesh to conform and you're build, you know, you're doing the retopology work, then it's like, well, you need something that, you know, I, I like using this, so that's why I'm sort of showing it really. Um, Oops. And there you go.